Hi, this is Dan Chambers, the founder of Chambers Law Firm. This is another in a series of videos that I'm doing on some important criminal justice reforms that you need to know about your case. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about a very important unit that has been set up by the newly elected district attorney in Los Angeles County, George Gascon. District Attorney Gascon has formed a unit called the Conviction Integrity Unit. And throughout this video, for shorthand, I'm going to refer to that as the CIU unit. What is CIU? It's going to be a unit within the district attorney's office that is going to be taking second looks at lengthy sentences. So let me give you an example. If you or your loved one is serving a 50 to life sentence on a case that's already been final, and that loved one is already serving time in state prison, this conviction integrity unit is going to be willing to look at that potential case to see if a resentencing is appropriate. In other words, a sentence reduction. Now, it's not automatic. There's a lot of hurdles. So let's talk about a few of those. The first thing that you have to remember about this unit is that not every case is going to get reviewed. There's just not enough time, and there are too many convictions coming out of LA County that they won't be able to review every case. So then you're going to ask, well, how can I get my case to the top of the pile? Well, there's certain factors that Mr. Gascon has put in his directives. These are all available on the Los Angeles County website for the district attorney. And we will put a link at the bottom of this video so that you can click into that directive and take a look for yourself. But let me give you some of the highlights. If your, your loved one or your case involved forensic evidence that is now considered suspect, for example, fingerprinting, tool marks, bite marks, and other forensic disciplines that we now know are faulty, that is a factor that might get your case to the top of the pile. What are some of the other things that that unit's going to look at? Well, they're going to look at eyewitness identification. So if your case involved strictly an eyewitness identifying you with no other evidence connecting you to the crime, you might be a very good candidate. And it gets even better for you if that identification is what we call cross-racial. So for example, if the defendant is an African American and is identified by a Caucasian eyewitness with no other corroborating evidence, and that's what the conviction's based on, that might be a very good candidate for this unit to take a look at whether that sentence should be reduced. There are other types of cases that will always be strong candidates. If your loved one believes they are actually innocent, of the crime and have the evidence to support that, Mr. Gascon's unit will take a look at that. And there's a whole list of factors in that directive. Too many to list in this video, but I encourage you to go to the link, read through the directive of all the different factors that Mr. Gascon's going to look at in this unit to see whether or not you or your loved one apply. Now, let's say you fit those factors. What's the next step? The next step would be to put together a packet of information about your case, and Chambers Law Firm is already representing clients in front of this unit, where you put in your trial transcripts, all of the evidence you believe is faulty, your loved one's performance while in prison, hopefully they've gotten uh, good rehabilitation there and their programming, and you put together what I call a mitigation packet. That mitigation packet then goes to Mr. Gascon's unit, and you make your pitch for why your case should be at the top. If you make it to the top and Mr. Gascon's unit decides it's a case worthy of resentencing, they will then formally support you when you go to court in front of a judge and ask to be resentenced. What you're basically doing is getting their approval and they say, we as the prosecutors believe this is a case that should be looked at and the sentence reduced. That's very powerful when you show up in front of that judge and he or she already knows that the district attorney supports your efforts. So that's a very broad overview of how this unit works and the steps that you're going to need to take. I again encourage you to check out the link below and look at the directives. If you think that any of those things apply to your case, give us a call and we'll give you a very honest and open assessment about whether or not we can help you. Thanks.